Hi, I'm Ben. I'd just like to give you a quick review of the rod that I've been using for the last few months. This is an HTO lure game. It's 2.4 meters long and it casts 5 to 25 grams. So I bought this rod back in May when I was looking for something for my mullet spinning with baited spinners through the summer. And uh, what originally attracted me to this is first of all the price, it's about sort of 75 quid in most shops. Secondly, it's a very light blank, it's something that you can use all day and it doesn't tire you out or feel stressful to use in any way. And thirdly, um, unlike a lot of modern lure rods, it doesn't have the very short handle. Um, I find those very uncomfortable to use. I feel all jammed up and it's, it's, uh, I, I don't enjoy it. But this has a um, very comfortable handle for me uh, and I've, I've not had any problems with it. So uh, it was a good, uh, a good fit for what I wanted it for. A rod like this has quite a lot of potential uses beside mullet spinning, like I've said. I originally um, intended to use it for using soft plastics for wrasses as well. And I, I've done quite a bit of that and I've really enjoyed it. It's, uh, it's a fantastic rod for that. Um, you can also fish metals for fish like mackerel, garfish, small pollock, that sort of thing. You could use it fishing light lures for bass. It's, uh, you could even use it for, um, floundering in the winter with spoons, that sort of thing. You get a lot of potential uses out of um, an inexpensive rod. You can get a lot of mileage out of this. So I've used this rod for quite a long time now and I feel like I know its strengths and weaknesses pretty well. Um, the major strength I would say of it is that it is fantastically good fun to play a fish on. I've had some really quite good fish on this now and uh, it's always, uh, always exciting hooking up with something, realising that it's uh, quite substantial and then like just hanging on for dear life as it does what it wants until I can get control over it again. This has really brought a lot of fun back into my fishing that maybe I would I would miss if I was using more balanced tackle or sort of overpowered tackle like we, a lot of shore anglers like myself generally tend to do um, but other strengths of the rod is that it's really well balanced it although it's a fast action design uh, the power flows through it very nicely this tip is very sensitive you always know what your lure is doing um, you get a lot of feedback from it uh, the major weakness of it is that um, because it is quite easily overwhelmed by a good fish if you were uh, if you're fishing somewhere where the ras go above four pound, um, you're probably going to lose quite a few of them <laughs> uh, because they, this rod just doesn't have, doesn't quite have the backbone to stop fish like that doing whatever they want. So um, I would definitely step up in power if I was tackling uh, somewhere where the ras were likely to run bigger than that. Fish up to four pound are absolutely amazing fun on this rod, but any bigger than that, and you're likely to get a bit uh, stressed out losing fish after fish when they go off on an unstoppable run. So uh, I tend to judge rods fishing equipment on um, how much better they make your life when you're fishing with them. And I think you get a lot of quality of life out of this rod. It feels really good to use. It, feel, it doesn't feel like an inexpensive rod. Um, and you're getting really good value for money, I think. The fittings are fine. I mean, this has lived in the back of my car for a few months, and that is a pretty hostile environment. And it's survived. It's, uh, it's taken every knock and stuff resting on it. I don't really baby my equipment at all, and this has not missed a beat, so. Uh, I can't really, can't really give it any higher praise than that. It, it does come with a rod bag as well. I don't use them, but some people do, and that might have uh, spared it a few injuries. But it's looking quite battle worn now. But um, it's really done me proud. Like one of the really great qualities of this rod is there's been several fish that I've been connected to, and I thought any minute now the line's going to break or the hook's going to pull, and it never does. 
Uh, I don't know what it is about this rod, but it just seems to, uh, it, you know, have enough. It has backbone, but it, it, there's no harsh point in it at all. Like um, nothing, no, nothing unpleasant ever happens when, when you think it's going to. I, I can't explain why, but yeah, it's, it's obviously got a very good cushioning effect to it. So this is the baby of the lure game rods, it's the lightest and shortest in the range and while it can handle all sorts of situations there are definitely some that are better suited to some of its bigger brothers. So let's head over to my local tackle shop at Gwynear Angling and get a more complete overview of the rest of the lure game range. Hi guys, I'm Jake from Gwynear Angling. I uh, just want to take you through quickly today the lure game rods from HDO. We've got two 10 foots, three nine foots and an eight foot. First of all, the biggest and most powerful one in the range, a 30 to 80 gram. Very, very powerful rod. It's going to be most suited to big surf fishing with larger metals, fishing for big pollock, larger bass over rock. Uh, it's an excellent tool for really, really being able to bully fish out of some difficult situations. Moving on from that, slightly lighter but still 10 foot, we've got the 20 to 60 gram. It's going to be a bit friendlier on the wrist if you're using it all day, uh, but still plenty of power there should you need it. Moving on from that, we've got three 9 foots in the range. We've got a 10 to 55 gram, still able to cope with them bigger metals, but it'll happily work some of them lighter soft plastics. We've got a 8 to 35 gram, which is sort of the middle between them, a uh, good all round rod. Moving on to a lighter 7 to 28 gram, that's going to work great with your soft plastics, think your, your sand eel type lures, minnow type lures, gravity sticks, they're, they're going to work very well with those. And then finally the lightest and shortest in the range, it's really light but it's a lovely rod to use, we've got an 8 foot 5 to 25 gram here as well, so there really is something for everyone um, and all of these rods come in at sub 100 pounds, um, fantastic rods for the money really, brilliant. So ultimately, would I recommend this little lure game rod to people looking for something like this? I absolutely would. It's been a great little fishing companion for me over the past few months. It's taken everything I've had to throw at it. And uh, if you're just looking for a general, general purpose light lure rod, this is ideal. And even if you've got something more specialised in mind, like mullet spinning, this little rod is guaranteed to put a smile on your face once you start getting into some fish. Uh, the rod itself is sensitive, it's well balanced, it's comfortable, it's durable. But above all, it's just tremendous fun to fish with and I think it represents excellent value.